Hi guys, so this is a video for whoever needs to hear it. I have absolutely no idea what it's going to be about, but I just heard go on and yeah, do something. Chariot and the Empress. Um, okay. Could be something to do with willpower, who knows, let's see. Um, we'll take an energy, something we know, something we don't know. Recent past, advice, potential outcome. Anybody can watch this, just based on the title. If it catches you, it's here for you. If not, check out the Zodiacs. So let's see, two more. So the energy is the Ten of Swords. Okay, this could be betrayal. This could be uh, an ending that's coming. Um, you might it might not be that. It could be just something's coming to an end that you recognise is coming to an end, and you just can't see over the horizon just yet. Let's see something we know, something we don't know. Recent past advice, potential outcome. Okay. We have the Devil, we have the Chariot, we have Temperance, we have the Magician, we have the Star. Wow, whatever it is, this is major change. Out of the six cards, we've got four major Arcanas, and then the first five are all major Arcanas. Devil and the Chariot is it's kind of like opposites, Capricorn and Cancer. So this is, uh, you know, ruler of the 10th house, ruler of the 4th house. This is the father, this is the mother. Um, temperance is about balancing both and then with the magician and the star card is manifesting the the healing that needs to take place there is a, a, an ending that is is happening here this could be a relationship with um, somebody very very toxic that is coming to an end and you might be feeling a little bit betrayed and I'm gonna say directionless at the moment Ten of Swords, what we're aware of is death. Okay, this is Pluto. Pluto and Pluto, Pl Plutonic energy, especially with the devil at the bottom of the deck, Pluto has retrograded back into Capricorn. It's, it's also Scorpionic energy where we are um, currently in the South Node for another 10 days. I said this earlier, nine days, nine days. And it's kind of like the last purging it's the energies could be all over the place you might be feeling you don't know whether you're coming or going the eighth house of scorpio is kind of obsessions codependencies um things that is hidden coming to the surface it, it, it could be harsh truths with the ten of swords what you're not aware of is strength you've got the courage to get past this you might be dealing with somebody that is very two-faced and very much focused on the two-faced nature of this um, strength card here and whatever is coming to the surface could be quite upsetting but it's actually leading you on to better things so i think whoever needs to hear this they might be going through some sort of disruption in their relationships maybe even breakups with the ten of swords and death here um but ultimately You felt this coming. Recent past, we have the High Priestess. The High Priestess is the Keeper of Secrets. Um, Death card is, is hidden, it's the Secrets as well. Eighth House. There is something here about secrets coming to the surface. This could have been, um, you know, this could be third parties, I'm sorry to say. Your advice is the Three of Wands. But what I'm trying to get at here is whatever this is, to take from it is you need to remember how you felt when you first got a nudge about something here. It doesn't have to be about cheating or anything like that, but there's an ending of relationships here. This could be um, neglecting your emotional body when you're with a certain person. This could be somebody very, very toxic in your life that when you deal with them, you are physically drained and you know this drainage is no good for you, but then you still entertain it and go back. The universe wants you to remember the lesson here. You know, you've done the best. I think you've been betrayed here by the looks of things. You've got the strength to actually get through this. 
and come out the other side. Your advice being the three of wands, I kind of feel like is think bigger. You've There's better energies waiting for you. If this isn't a relationship, this could be jobs, this could be an ending of a, of, of a workplace thing. Whatever it is, there is better for you out there. The three of wands is that preparation to bring in the fourth wand, which is Venus in Aries, the Emperor meets the Empress. The outcome is the lovers. The lovers is here to suggest that there is a divine partnership or the perfect business partner or something here that just connects at a soul level. Whatever ending this is, is a blessing in disguise. I kind of feel like it's a tower moment. Let's check out what the tower is. Very much linked to Saturn. We do have the Eight of Cups next to the Hangman, so Saturn in Pisces and then Pisces straight afterwards. Saturn is currently retrograde alongside Pluto. The Four of Wands is with the Wheel of Fortune, so there is a destined partnership that's coming but it comes after the um, this Five of Cups, Five of Wands energy. There's a bit of, there's a bit of unpleasantness, I'm afraid. Um, but the two fives indicate the wheel, the wheel spins, and it's bringing in something much, much better for you. Uh, the Tower is with the Sun card and the Three of Swords. This is pretty um, painful realization. Something is being highlighted. Something is looking very, very clear now. Uh, something that was hidden with the moon is coming to the surface. Ugh. Three of Swords was next to the Queen of Pentacles. When the Queen of Pentacles and the High Priestess are in the vicinity, can indicate the other, I'll say the other woman, but it can be anything, the other person, the other energy, whatever this is. Um, I'm sorry you're going through it. Um, this is a process of ridding you of anything that is not worthy of your time space energy and much much better is on the way high priestess in the three of wands would especially with the strength in the three of wands as well would indicate your spiritual growth is going to be rapid okay there's going to be real expansion from this when you release this um whatever this is so if it resonates i'm sorry um but something wonderful comes from this Okay. I almost feel like the answers that you need are coming, to be honest. Uh, the devil is reaching out here with his hand. And I don't mean that as a devil, as a toxic energy. This could be a Capricorn. I just feel like there's there's, a, there's an answer here with the um, uh, the lovers. It's like Gemini energy in the moonology. New, I think it's the new moon in Gemini. The answers you need are coming. Okay. So... There could be something going on between Pluto and um, and Venus here with the lovers, um, which can, you know, Pluto square in Venus can bring secrets to the surface in terms of, um, of um, stuff that tries to remain hidden. We've also got uh, Venus retrograde in, in a couple of weeks time you know, if relationships can survive that, fantastic. There's, there's a lot of strength there. Um, if not, just trust that this process is happening for a reason to put you up, uh, in alignment with what is meant for you. Okay, guys, look after yourselves. Who have we got? We have Scorpio, we have Capricorn, we have Gemini, we have Leo, we have Cancer Pisces, we have Sun in Gemini, Sun in Aries, Cancer, Sagittarius, um, Gemini, Virgo, Aquarius, Saturn in Pisces, Pisces, Jupiter in Pisces, Jupiter in Gemini, Mercury in Virgo, Jupiter in Capricorn, and Mercury in Taurus. I mentioned Jupiter several times there, so that's the Wheel of Fortune. Fate is on your side, bringing what is for you. The nodes will change hands, and um, yeah, you're gonna see things a lot. A lot clearly, it makes sense in the end. So just go with the flow. Alright, see you soon. Bye.